Tyler, business idea of the week. It is your turn. What is your business idea? So I think this might play into your business a little bit. Um, it was just my buddy had his birthday the other week and it just got me thinking and maybe it's like make your day a movie. And basically what you would do is when it's your birthday, you could hire a videographer. They'll come along with you for for the day, for the night, and they just make your nut, your birthday into a movie and then you can watch it back and uh, I was just thinking about it because he was hiring or he had a suite and he had, we was going to the club and I think it would just be really cool to like turn it into like some, maybe not some, was it project, 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 what's X? that movie? Yeah, yeah. 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 Turn it into maybe not, maybe not to that extent, but I think just maybe if you're going out, you're having friends or whatever, it's just turning your birthday into a movie. I like that idea mainly because I've seen a thing that said, how much money would you pay to get a video of all of the funniest times you've had together with your friends. So that's maybe a premise, mm-hmm. you know, imagine you do this, make a, make your day a movie for 10 years on your birthday. And then you can look back at your uh, birthday for 10 years. The transformation over, <laughs> over the years. And it slowly becomes like, you're just staying yeah. in it and for the night and yeah. just get some pizza or something. It's like, man, this guy's <laughs> birthday some... sucks. <laughs> Playing some Catan later on. <laughs> yeah. Playing some cards. <laughs> I play chess. I play both sides of the board. Um, it's, it's a rotating. It's on a uh, turntable and then knight to e5. <laughs> um, but yeah, no, I like that. It's. I think the market for it is It's probably a higher end market. I don't know who's going to pay, you know, if you got to pay 1500 bucks for a video that day. But I guess mm-hmm. you'd have to, if you could figure out a way, and maybe it doesn't have to be super high end. Maybe it's just like a vlog style YouTube sort of video. Yeah, I feel like the target audience would probably be people that are maybe like trust fund babies or like, you know, they're really, they're pretty wealthy. Maybe they struggled early in their career. Now they're millionaires and they go to Vegas for their birthday or you, they go to LA or they go to New York and they just live it up. They go to the bars, they go to strip clubs, they go to all these different places and they just s- spend money like there's no tomorrow. Yeah. And they, they don't care about paying $10,000 for you to come during that day and film their whole whole birthday so they can watch it back when they're blackout drunk. I think you could even do this on different occasions. It doesn't just have to be a birthday because I go on one friend trip every year. I think it'd be mm-hmm. sick if every year we had we hired someone to come with us on this trip. Mm-hmm. And then it's like, okay, the you film. document the seven days. And then maybe you do a couple of quick interviews here and there, like run and gun, like, all right, what are you guys doing today? <laughs> and it's the almost office. like a it's almost like a mini documentary, like, hey, here's a 20, yeah. 30 minute video of your guys' trip this year. So this is an idea or something that I want to get to eventually is with our fantasy football league is I want to fly us out to say a resort in Mexico or get an Airbnb or something. And then it's just like a whole weekend where just everyone in the league is there. And then we hire a videographer to come along with us and video it the whole time. And, you know, it's just going to be a whole, whole little thing. I, 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 don't think, know. I thought that would be really cool. I think we should do it on the draft every year. We go. Yeah, I know. That's what I was saying. That's what I was saying. Kind of like the but league. I wanna, yeah, I, w- I want to get to the point where like I'm rich enough and be like, all right, boys, I'm paying for everything. You just got to show up. I That's a good point. We're getting off top of the business. Whatever. <laughs> good idea. I like the idea. Let's move on. Anyways, I like the idea of being rich enough to just pay for other people to do shit. That can't. Yeah. Like I love, uh-huh. I would love to just be like, boys, friend trips on me. We're going yeah. to Florida and we got $10,000 club. And they're like, really? Let's go to I'm Miami. Like, yeah, if I'm broke one day though, I'm be calling in this favor. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. I'll be like, start one, sharing one my Facebook post, damn it. <laughs> like it. Just like yeah. it. It's it <laughs> I just paid for your whole flight. Yeah. But yeah, no, so. I, I like that idea of having things documented because that's a big thing is I want to be able to and especially this podcast we talked about when we were starting, it'd be it's gonna be cool to look back on in ten years and be like, Wow, we were really ahead of the game or wow, we were freaking idiots i can't believe we we're discussing that strategy yeah. whatever it is so right can't if you could do that yeah if you can do that in every facet of your life you know friend trips and then maybe you have a birthday and then maybe you do it for a halloween weekend whatever it might be i do like that mm-hmm. idea i think there so this 
this probably isn't like a groundbreaking idea. What I feel like is there's a lot of these influencers that are basically already doing it. They have some camera guy following them around. Like you'll look at, I don't know, um, first name that comes to my mind is uh, Bryce Hall. Uh, yeah, D-Rock Gary was the v. first one. Yeah, he, he kind of revolutionized it and Gary Vee became that influencer. But I don't know. I The first thing that came to my mind was this video I saw of, um, I don't know, it was Bryce Hall. And there's just like, I don't know if it, it was like paparazzi or it was like someone that he actually hired, but I thought it was mm-hmm. someone, I don't know, maybe, maybe it wasn't, maybe it was paparazzi. I don't know. Yeah. I, I wish I had someone that I could fill my day-to-day stuff with and then just almost start a YouTube channel where it's all that kind Vlog, of stuff. And one. you know, even, yeah, even if no one <laughs> season watches Season one. <laughs> yeah. It's like, no, we're then on creative season media <laughs> and it created media 2023. And then there's, you know, 50 some videos in there or whatever it is. That's no, uh, one that's vlog per day. So 365 episodes per, Ooh, per season. That's a lot. That's <laughs> a lot. Uh, that's the task for the next, the first hire. And that's what I'm excited about. A first hire is I'm going to throw, throw them to the wolves. Yeah. See what hey, they can do. You're like, Hey, let's film some shit. Let's do it all and see what we can do. I love it. I love it. 